It's ways of adding banded exercises into an already structured routine. The way I personally like to incorporate resistance bands are on isolated lifts or accessory lifts, um, lifts that are not as heavy, that you focus more on form and proper muscle activation. So the, just using some recommendations, we're gonna start with shoulders and traps. One of my favorite variations to add with the band for shoulder day is you can spread your feet out on the band or have them close together. I'm gonna go ahead and spread them out. You need to take a minute to make sure the band's proper. Do it. And then we once again use our knees as a guide. Or if you wanna do how I do it, you get your hands close and you're gonna perform an upright row. Now with this, you're not doing this. You're focusing on actually rotating the humerus. So just to show you a front view, something like this. Not going like this. If you'd like, you can do that too, but I'd actually, if you do something like that, I'd actually more recommend more of a face pull, or just a face pull type style. So you go something like this, and you can go ahead and Bring it up like this. I don't think that's optimal. This is just some other some things I add. On back and bicep day, one of my my additions is a barbell bicep uh, curl mimic. I'm gonna need a little bit more. The wider you put your feet on the band here, the more tension it's gonna have. The closer your feet are together, the more give the band has less tension. So once again, using your knees as a guide. We go ahead and we curl. The reason I like this is because you can't cheat it. If you keep your elbows way back, you can feel that the bicep's not getting its proper, the brachialis, the stronger elbow flexor is doing more work. So that's why you can actually focus on proper technique and mental cueing. Bring the elbow a bit forward. Other variations specifically are going to be chest uh, for back day or shoulder day, depending how you structure, are going to be rear belt, reverse pec tech, flies, whatever you'd like to call them. With this, this is a small band. You could use a large band as well. I'll use like, show an example of both. But as an isolation for rear belts, these are pretty much unmatched because you're able to actually hold the tension and actually control the contract, the shortening and the lengthening of that rear bell muscle instead of just torquing a dumbbell up. Now using a band, or sorry, a long band, we can also go like this. With this, we wanna keep our elbows not bent the more we bend them, the more of a row we turn it into. We're doing transverse abduction. Reverse back that, basically. And if you squeeze harder, you'll squeeze the lower trap. Or if you focus on a smaller range of motion, you'll focus on the rear delt more. Uh, chest variations I like to add are gonna be a press fly. So with this, you want to set yourself up. You want to set yourself up with a band. And you want to get it running behind you once again. And with this, you get yourself in a barbell bench press positioning, and you're gonna fly it forward. You're not gonna just go like this, you're gonna fly it forward. You can lay on a bench and do this as well, or the floor, but I like to actually do it standing. The reason why I like to add on variations for chest with the band is because when the band is running behind you, it creates the counter, the counter force for you to perform your workout. So let's say I wanted to perform a cable chest exercise for the sternal head of the the, uh, the sternal head of the pec. With that, you'd want to focus more 
on a decline fly. With this, I'm not forcing my body forward with like this. I'm literally just focusing on contracting the sternal head of the chest. If you want more of the clavicular upper portion of the chest for that, you can just get it running a little bit under your scapula or on the scapula and you perform a fly again. All right, and I'll be honest, um, the only addition I add the bands to for um, legs are squats. The reason I like them for squats is because I do not train barbell squats at home. So I need to keep the mental cueing of performing a proper barbell rep. What I mean by that is I want to make sure I still have a proper strut reflex when I perform a squat. Although you lose a lot of tension at the bottom range of motion with the bands, it keeps that mental cueing in my mind. To give you an example, once again, get it on our shoulders, and we just squat. And with that, I can still get the mental cueing for the stretch reflex at the bottom of the squat. Doesn't matter how heavy, if I use four or five bands at the bottom range of motion, I'm losing a great amount of tension. But with that stretch reflex, I have to fight the tension in the band to get back up. All right, so thank you for watching. Those are some accessories that I like to add into my own routine. Uh, as I said, I use it for more accessory isolation or mental cueing uh, based purposes. So thank you for watching. Bye.